Are you wondering if the woman in your life is truly the one for you? Maybe things feel good, but there is this part of you that is questioning if she is the right person to build a future with. In this video, I'm going to share the key signs that reveal if a woman is genuinely compatible with you. Plus, a few red flags you should watch out for. By the end, you would have known the things you should be looking out for. Hi, I'm Wendy Zill. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for more content about relationship, personal growth, and how to make the best choices in life. So let's dive into how to know if the woman you're with is truly the right one for you. One of the biggest indicators that the woman is the right one for you is if you share core values like believe, long-term goals, and the kind of lifestyle you want to live. Especially believe. Simply put, is she your tribe? Now, when I say tribe, I don't mean she has to be of the same language with you. Like for me, I'm Igbo. It has to be an Igbo man or maybe you're Yoruba. It has to be a Yoruba lady. That is not what I mean. What I mean by that is that she share the same spiritual values as you. You know, because if you plan on getting into a very serious relationship like marriage, and then there are times that your beliefs, especially spiritual beliefs, is going to come into play and will determine how you're going to tackle decisions in the long run. One of the best things that can happen to you is if you marry someone who is your friend. Like they say, birds of the same feather flock together. I mean, if you're friends with someone, it means that you have some level of agreeableness in certain things and certain terms. I cannot call someone who I do not agree on so many levels with my friend. For me to be friends with you, it means that I agree with you on so many things. Like we, they vibe together. I like your vibe and I understand it. Having values in common helps to build strong foundation. And without them, you may find yourself clashing over big decisions. For example, your wife may say, let's baptize our child. And you're like, I don't believe in Jesus. Why should I baptize my child? You get what I mean? So if you're with someone who you intend to go the long term with, it's very important that you consider these things. Do you agree on the same spiritual beliefs, the same moral beliefs? In fact, even moral beliefs serve is even a big deal. There are people that will say a certain thing is a no-no and some other person will say, yeah, what, what's there? It's normal. Everybody smokes in my family. It doesn't hurt, you know? You need to determine if you agree on all of these core values because it's going to help you have a smooth or not so smooth relationship in the long run. The right woman will make you completely feel comfortable being yourself. It means that you don't have to act a certain way or assume to be someone else or, you know, just fake some things just because you want to impress her. There is no faking. I remember one comment I got one time and the guy says, when you can know the one for you is when you can fart in the presence of the person and the person will not freak out. <laughs> you know, things like that. People say that a lot. That is like a very simple way of saying that person you can be yourself around like you don't need to pretend you don't need to hold in anything you don't need to assume to be anything just being yourself completely around her you can goof around her you can just picture when you were a child and you're with your mom when you're with your mom you can be yourself completely you don't need to prove anything to your mother i mean she's your mom so what do you want to hide <laughs> is it your nakedness she has seen it from the day you were born like imagine when you're around your mom as a child the way you feel free you get, can you feel free like that with this woman? Is she the type that any mistake you make, she just flares up and she's just complaining and comparing you to people that you're not, comparing the way you handle situations with the way someone else handles situation? You know, are you completely yourself when you're with this person? A healthy relationship is one in which you feel accepted for who you are. A key sign of a strong partnership is when she supports your growth. This doesn't mean that she wants to control your decisions, but she genuinely wants you to succeed and grow. If she celebrates your achievement, encourages your goals, and does not feel threatened by your success, then she might just be the one for you. Because this is a very big part of relationship where you find partners feeling insecure about their significant other. This happens a lot. So you need to look out for this. How does she feel when you succeed? How does she also feel when you fail? You need to measure the two angles because everything has to be balanced. Is she the type that when you fail, she's like, oh, I'm even living. I can't even be in this relationship anymore. If you can't handle this small thing, how can you not handle us when we get married? And you know, she's just freaking out and becoming hysteric. Or is she the type that when you're succeeding and you're making, hitting all of your goals and you know, everything you set out to achieve, she's feeling threatened and you know, all of that. Ensure that there is a good balance there. 
Conflict is natural, but how you handle it says a lot about your compatibility. If she can walk through disagreement with you respectfully and calmly, and you can find solutions together, is a good sign. A good woman respects your feeling and she is open to resolving issues with you. Not the type that maybe something is happening and she's already escalating the whole thing and your flat has become a place where people converge to try to settle your matter. Like, say, when they quarry everybody for streets don't come. She don't need break bottles, they do things. No. Because I believe in people living private life. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to live that kind of life. But when disagreements come, which they would, it's a certain thing. Offenses would abound. She would annoy you sometimes and you would annoy her sometimes. So disagreements would be there. But your ability to handle it calmly and settle it within yourself says a lot about her and says a lot about the happiness you're going to have in the future. Okay, is she the type that when there's a disagreement, she has already called Popsy, she don't call Momsy, she don't call your sisters, your brothers, your friends, every single person in your life knows. That is exactly the same thing that would happen in your marriage. People don't change. Don't even get it twisted. People do not change. If you think that, okay, by the time she enters my house fully and she's now my wife fully, she's not going to behave in this way. Maybe she's feeling threatened now because maybe she thinks that I'm cheating on her, blah, 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 what have you. Marriage does not change people. If anything, it intensifies whatever traits and characters you have. It brings everything out and for everybody to see. So if she's escalating issues instead of respecting your opinion, hearing you out and looking for a way where you can both, you know, calmly solve the problem, then it's a big red flag. Trust is the backbone of every solid relationship. If you trust her fully and she trusts you, it creates a foundation where a solid relationship can grow and blossom. Without trust, even small doubt can grow into gigantic problems because trust is so vital. Like... I can't even imagine when I don't trust someone. It means I'm going to suspect them. I'm going to think that you're doing this, you're doing that. Like it's a torment on its own. So do you trust her? Does she trust you? Do you feel safe sharing your dreams, your goals, even your fears with her? Now to recap, if a woman is right for you, it comes down to shared values, comfort in being yourself, mutual support, healthy conflict resolution, and trust. When these elements are present, then you're likely in a relationship that is built to last. Take a moment to reflect, are these qualities present in your relationship? And if they are not, it's okay. Recognizing what doesn't work helps you get closer to finding the relationship that does. If this video gave you some clarity, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and check out this video on the screen. I believe you'll like it as well. Thank you so much and I'll see you there.